Welcome to Get Inspired with Jason, the podcast and YouTube show. Today, we're going to be talking about how to lose weight by eating several times a day. Look, for many years, when I was overweight, obese, I would work out, try to lose weight. I had trainers that are like, oh, well, you got to eat right afterwards. I'm like, why? Why would I want to eat after I burned all those calories? It just didn't really click. And nowadays, we have the keto diets, the paleo diets, diets as a whole. I just don't believe in those things. I just, I don't. I believe in lifestyles. So how I was able to lose as much weight as I did and then transform the remaining fat that I had into muscle was by eating several times a day. So let me break this down for you a little bit. You always want to start your day with having breakfast. I know a lot of you, like I, I was many years ago, I just didn't like breakfast. I like to get up, get moving, go to work, and be done. The truth is, is when you skip your breakfast, you're slowing down your metabolism. You know, like growing up, your parents used to say, hey, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. I kid you not, they were right. Having your breakfast in the morning, a well-balanced breakfast, and we'll get into what to eat in a minute, is so inevitably important. Why? It causes your metabolism to kick off and start your day right. Now, you want to keep your breakfast not too heavy, not too, too light. Anywhere between two to 400 calories, depending on what your goal is. Now, two to three hours later, you want to have a snack. Snacks can consist anywhere between 100 and 150 calories, unless you're really tall and you got a lot of muscle already on your body, 200 calories. Now, what are some things we can eat? We'll get into that in a moment. About another two to three hours later, you want to have your lunch. So already we're up to three times a day that we're eating. Now your lunch, you want to make sure you're consuming at, uh, hold on, I'm going to tell you that in a minute. Two to three hours later, you want to eat your fourth time, which is your second snack of the day. And then two to three hours later, you want to have your dinner. All right, so right now you're saying, wow, we're eating five times a day? That's a lot of food. I don't have time. I'm a doctor. I work at the post office. Or, Jesus, I'm just busy. I, I work at the bank. I don't have time to eat that much. Yes, you can. So here's the deal. By eating more times during the day until the evening, every time you eat, right, just enough, enough to get your body moving and grooving and burning calories, those two to three hours go by and you burnt it off and you eat again. This is why you don't want to overeat and eat extra calories, right? So the more you eat throughout the day, you're automatically causing your body to be in fat burn zone, fat burn mode, whatever you want to call it, you're just burning more calories. Now, let's go and start with breakfast. Breakfast, you want to eat anything that you feel works for you. Mind you, if you're saying, man, I have no clue, I want you to click the link in my bio so you can learn more about my program, especially my Mind Right Body Type program and my customizable food programs and coaching. It just makes a world of a difference. But to give you some ideas, breakfast, you want to have, example, a half a cup of oatmeal, you want to have three to four egg whites. So that would be one breakfast. Another breakfast can be a smoothie, right? One uh, portion of of protein powder, then you want to have some frozen, you know, blueberries, strawberries, and you want to add that in with maybe even a quarter cup of oatmeal. And another third option, if you're really on the go, and I'm talking really on the go, and you just really never have an appetite, have yourself a half of a grapefruit, right? Get something in your body. Just make sure you don't leave the house without eating something. Like you want to make sure you always eat something. Second thing you want to do is have a snack two to three hours later. Some snacks, it could be an apple and 10 almonds, or you can have a half a banana, right, with a uh, one tablespoon of peanut butter. And then lastly, it could also be even a simple 80 calorie yogurt, low on carbs. Lunch, you wanna have protein, right? You wanna have one source of veggies and one source of carbohydrates. If you're wondering how much, I can't tell you exactly how much, I don't know how tall you are, how, how old you are, it really depends on you and your genetics. So. Again, if you have specific questions and say, well, I, I, I don't know where to start or how much do I eat, contact me. But to give you a good general rule, your hand, stick it out in front of your palm, 
as long as it isn't as, as thick as it is, as thick as it is, that's going to be the portion size of say your protein. Uh, same thing goes for veggies. You can have two or three times the amount of veggies, palm size of your hand, and then carbohydrates. You want to have, just to give you an idea, potatoes, half a potato, rice, no more than half of a cup dry. Now let's move over to our fourth uh, meal, quote unquote, second snack of the day. Same thing, apple, almonds, have a yogurt, right? And then lastly, your dinner, right? So mind you, I'm telling you advice that's worked for me and thousands of my clients, whether it's on television or on social media. Dinner, if you go to sleep, example, at say 10, 11 o'clock, latest time you wanna have dinner is between seven and eight o'clock. You wanna make sure you're eating protein, twice or three times the amount of vegetables. Don't eat carbohydrates at night. Why? You're going to be not you're going to be not moving at all. So carbohydrates, think of carbs as energy. So when you're not moving, that energy turns into fat, right? Keep this in the back of your brain, keep this in the back in your back pocket cuz what I'm telling you it just really works. Now, if you're saying, "Well, what if I don't go to sleep till like 1 or 2 a.m.?" Okay, cool, because of your job or whatever. You can have dinner at 9, 10 o'clock. Always remember, you want to eat at least two or three hours before you go to bed. This, what I'm telling you right now, if you apply it, give it three, four weeks, you will lose anywhere from a pound to up to three pounds just by adjusting how you eat, when you eat, and making sure you're eating at least five times a day. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm here to answer you. If this has actually helped you, leave your comments. Let me know what it's done for you. I really appreciate the feedback. Subscribe and share with friends. I'm here for you. Remember, it's all about mind right, body tight. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer. And don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.